Hey what's up guys it's Cray here and today I have a tutorial for you guys on how to use 3D layers and um, After Effects and how to use a camera option and stuff like that. So let's just get started I'm not going to be talking a lot today. So um, you want to open up After Effects then just get a new composition and 10 seconds or 17 seconds is fine and then click OK. And this effect which you can be doing for is like promos or stuff like that, it's mainly. And you guys will see what I'm talking about right here. But um, yeah, so you want to hit Command I to import your images or your videos. And in this case, we're just going to be using some images that I got from Google, some of my TV shows I watch and stuff like that. All right, so now we have our images right here, right? So now what you want to do is just highlight them all, or in the timeline, highlight them all, and then click the 3D layer option. And the 3D layer option which is kind of like Cinema 4D. You can like um, rotate your images. This is usual rotation. Uh, you can move them back like this. Um, you can move them like this or whatever. And uh, what I did right here, if you guys are wondering how I dropped this down, is I just clicked R on my keyboard and then it brings up everything. But um, yeah, so first off what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be setting these up so let's move this to like about right there and then the Simpsons one somewhere like right there the Randy Couture one at the bottom and the house like somewhere up there whoa sorry that's my phone I have support center app on my phone but um alright so now that you have your 3d layers option checked if you don't have this you can just go to right click you can right click around here and then go to columns and make sure switches is checked or you can right click right here in the mode or whatever but yeah and then this will give you all these options like frame blending motion blur and stuff like that so now once you have that what you can do now is like you see this house one we can move it back the Randy Couture one uh, let's move that back too and you see I'm trying to move it back but since it's too big of an image it won't let me go all the way back but what you can do in this case is hold shift and then move it back and then it would move it back like five times more and then the Simpsons one let's do the same thing let's move that back and the street art one let's move it back like right there alright so let me just arrange these to like right there somewhere Simpsons one like right there Let's move this Randy Couture one a little bit backer. And this one we want it all the way back. Like that. Let's move this one closer up. Alright, so now as you see we have our 3D space and we have one all the way back here. But um, yeah, that's basically what 3D layering does. Uh, you can rotate them. You can animate the rotation to like rotate sideways and stuff like that. It's basically like uh, Cinema 40 and um, yeah so now if you want to do like a cool animation like you want the camera to fly by these guys as you guys have seen in promos like it can be like instead of house and Simpsons and UFC you can have like tutorials gameplays um, intros or whatever your channel is about so let's now let's get a camera and let's get this effect going so you just want to go to layer new and then camera and then you just want to use the default lens 50 millimeters uh, all right, let's put that in. All right, so now that you have your cameras, uh, yeah, this is a cool option. If you go up here by hitting C, you can go up there to your cameras, and then if you keep hitting C, you'll just go by by through them. So this one is just uh, backwards or front, I should say, and you can get behind the images and stuff like that. And remember, it's holding Shift. And this is the effect I was talking about that people use in promos and stuff like that. So we we're gonna be keyframing this and you can use this effect to create a cool promo or something like that but um yeah so you have basically just the Z or the Z axis and stuff like that um you also have the regular rotation camera let's move this back so you can see what's going on like that um we have the rotation one where you can look around and just basically just the left and right bottom and yeah basically what I said so um, let's get our camera back 
Let's go back in our space. It was like that, something like that. All right, like this. All right, like this. All right, so now what you want to do is you just want to set a keyframe for this. So you can just hit P on your keyboard and then hit position, and then you can start keyframing this. So you want to start all the way back here, and then you want to move up, right? So then we want to move our camera to like about to the end of the timeline. And then we hit C, so then we can move up to this one. And then you just move all the way up. And it's a little off, but yeah. So now what you see, we have this animation of how we do right here. And we can fix this right now on, so then it goes perfectly around each image. So we're not going through the house image. I'll show you guys how to fix that right now. So right here you just want to hit C again on your keyboard and then rotate the camera and then we go around it and you rotate it right here and we go around that one then we move it right there if we don't want to hit it and you kind of want to see this one, you kind of want to fly really close to that one. So you just go like that. Alright, so as you see, we got this cool effect. And it's basically it's just something really simple and fast on um, what to do. But if you go right here to your active camera, you can see like the sides of it. You can see the whole keyframing and the whole aspect. As in Cinema 4D, when you go right here and you click this, uh, your perspective, you can see the left side, the front, and the right. Uh, After Effects are the same thing, and it just makes After Effects a lot cooler. Like um, a lot of people are afraid to go in After Effects because they're just afraid of what you can do. But it's After Effects is pretty easy, and as you can see, it has the same a lot of the same features as uh, Cinema 4D. So right here, you can see all of our images. Each line right here is an image. So this one right here is the house, right there, and the Randy Couture one is back here and this is your space of whatever and your composition is right there but it's pretty much the same thing as Cinema 40 as I said uh, let's try to get the sides see so now you can see your camera so click camera and then you can see your keyframes from your camera and that's your camera right there god damn it my phone sorry but um yeah it's just a uh, tutorial quick tutorial Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys found this useful, please give it a thumbs up. Um, it was something really fast. I'm about to head to the beach, so I was a little fast on this one. Sorry if uh, you guys kind of didn't understand me or I didn't make a little sense. I understand. But most of the time, it's just that I'm in a hurry to try to get this done because I'm trying to keep it under like 10 minutes so the render and the uh, upload doesn't take too long. But yeah, just quick, simple tutorial. Um, if you guys would li like more After Effects tutorial, more Cinema 4D tutorials, please put it a comment in the description. Please, please let me, please just give me some feedback. It's just like, takes five seconds. I'm helping you guys out. I give you guys free stuff and stuff like that. All I ask for is thumbs up. Just help me out by getting thumbs ups. So just please, please just click that thumbs up, that like button. And it really helps me out a lot. So if you're not subscribed to me, subscribe so then you can check out my videos. Uh, if you're if you don't want to subscribe, that's fine. Just check out my other videos, and uh, hopefully my videos change your mind and you would like to subscribe. But um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So just get creative. Let me see what you guys can do with this, and that's it. So I'll talk to you guys later, and I'll bring you guys more After Effects tutorial if you guys like, or more Cinema 4D tutorials. Just let me know. But um, yeah, that's it. I'll go now. <laughs> I've been saying I'm gonna go. But yeah, that's it. So I'll talk to you guys later. See ya.